All right, guys, today we're going to take that visor off the truck. It's, uh, it's a factory one, it's riveted on, so I'm assuming we're going to have to grind off the rivets that are up underneath there. We'll pop the hood and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, but that's the original one. Um, so this is the one I bought the other day. So it's quite a bit, quite a bit larger. Uh, we're gonna clean this one up. Uh, before we uh, before we put it on there, so I'll get started on it, and uh, we'll get uh, get that other visor off, and then uh, we'll uh, get that one put on. So this one, I'm thinking I'm going to have to uh, take the headliner and everything out inside the cab to get to it all. So uh, let me pop the hood, and I'll kind of explain what I'm talking about. So this is what we got going on here. Uh, you can see they're riveted into the cab. So we're gonna end up probably grinding them rivets off. And then we'll have to, like I said, drop the headliner down inside. As you can see inside there, we'll have to pull that all down so we can get in there. And then what I'll end up doing is probably using these bolts that are in this one here. And I'll use them on the inside. Uh, to mount the new one in place. So I'll get uh, get started on it here. Um, see if we can get these bolts all loose. I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna take, take these bolts out. I'm just gonna take the piece of metal off and then I can get in there to grind them, uh, grind the rivets off, so. Uh. So I have unfortunately broke the bolts on this side and the bolts on the other side. Uh, I did get these bolts out here, uh, the nuts off the back anyway. So I'm gonna work on getting the uh, getting the bolts off there. All right, so I got that, got these loose. They're corroded to the brackets, so I'm gonna try and work them out of there as nicely as I can. It's like the uh, the bolts are are made out of something different and the stainless steel is corroding to them or something, I don't know. So, we're gonna pull these out. Take this visor off. And then we'll, uh, we'll have to like, so get the other brackets ground down or ground off. Um, these brackets that are on there right now with this one, they're only, they're, they're real short. Um, that other visor has got uh, longer supports on it, so I, I want to definitely use the longer supports. I don't want to just change out the, the metal visor part into that uh, the angle on that one is probably different than this one too. So you get these loosened up the rest of the way, pull this off. You guys can kind of see what it looks like. It's going to look very ugly. Very ugly. Should probably wax underneath of the, uh, the visor sits on there. But we will see what we get done. So it is off of there. Um, as you can see, you got these little metal brackets. So I'm going to have to grind out or grind off them rivets. And you see them little rivets in there. So I'm gonna grind them all off. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start over here on the right and that way I can get the grinder in there and I'll grind all the way around to the other side. And then I'll have to uh, take the take the top off of the, or the inside off, off there so we can, uh, Get that taken loose and then uh, get my bolts put in. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try and use these bolts unless it's too thick uh, up in there. So I guess too, that other one, the other visor goes over top of these brackets here. So I will take them off also. So we'll get them, 
get the mirror brackets loosened up and moved out of the way a little bit. We'll get these all ground off and we'll get the inside uh, drop down and then I'll get back with you. All right, we've got a mess. We got uh, the headliner all taken down up there. Uh, ended up having to take, take my part of my spotlight apart there to uh, get this piece to pull back far enough to get the other piece out. So um, we got that done there. Um, that pulled away, I guess. Uh, the This is one of the bolts here for, or one of the rivets here for what the, the brackets that are on there right now. And the other one is way up, way up inside there. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to even be able to get to it to tighten it down. Um, but we will see. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start getting the outside all ground off and get that all ground off then uh and we'll see where we're at so be back. all right i've got the brackets ground off i popped the rivets out that was what was left of the rivets in there popped them out um now i'm going to take this all apart i'm going to take the brackets off um and then also split it in the middle there's bolts there's bolts in the middle, and then I'm going to take all these bolts out. Um, take it all apart. I'm going to rivet the uh, rivet the brackets back in. I thought about bolting them, but I just think that it's probably best to put rivets back in the way they were. So we're going to get started on that, and uh, I'll get this apart, and then we we'll start riveting. All right, so we got the first bracket here. Um, this will mount, like if the cab was here, this would mount here. Um, my dilemma is my rivet gun, I cannot get in there to rivet these. So I'm gonna to have to bolt them on. Um, so it is what it is. We'll get set up up there, get their, their bolts out. I was really hoping I'd get to rivet them on there. It'd take, make it a lot easier, but. Uh... All right, so the bolts we're gonna use do not fit through the hole so we are going to run the drill in and out on them and uh, get them cleaned out a little bit and then we'll uh, start putting bolts in i'm gonna use a, a bolt with a washer and probably rtv it from the uh, inside rtv it to the the uh, cab of the truck there and then i can just each bracket on one at a time, uh, tighten it down, and then uh, we'll put the visor on in two, two different sections also, so. All right, we ended up taking the top of the air cleaner off, uh, loosening up the bracket here for the mirror mount, and then also taking the mirror off up there because it slides in over top of the mount. So that's what it's, uh, that's what it's gonna look like. So we'll get the, Get this side on, get the other side mounted up, and then uh, we'll show you what it looks like. All right, we've got her mounted up. Um, I tightened the bolts up in the middle right there first, and then I put all of the, all nine of the bolts in uh, on that other side. So that way I got it nice and square in the middle and then pulled the brackets around and moved them wherever I needed to or bent them wherever I needed to to line up the holes and uh went right on there so uh looks pretty good i think um it'll be something to get used to that's for sure so um i've got to put the air cleaners back together got to mount the mirror brackets back on uh get them tightened back up where they're supposed to be and then uh i gotta get the whole inside put back together so i think i've decided i'm gonna move my cb radio i'm not, I'm not gonna have it hanging up there on top anymore i think i'm gonna put it down um down by my uh, by my seat, uh, down by my driver's seat. So um, we're gonna start on that. We're gonna get the CB wire pulled out of the mirror bracket here and uh, get it rerouted um, along with the electrical stuff for the battery. So um, we'll get going on that. Strike in the way 
It's on there. Uh, I spent about six hours today getting it put on. Uh, so it, uh, it was a pretty long day. I guess uh, it's six hours of putting the visor on and then uh, also show you guys what I did here. I, uh, since I don't have uh, any use for the, um, the, I don't know, sun shields or whatever you want to call them, I took them out, took the CB out. Um, I just, as of right now, I just have the CB laying on the floor back here. Um, I'm going to end up, I'll build a mount for it and figure out where I want it exactly. Um, but I just, I didn't like it. Didn't like it up there. So, uh, we got that all done. Um, I moved the CB antenna off the mirror. I kept hitting tree branches with that uh, with CB antenna on the mirror there. So, did that. And then, uh, we got the... Yeah, this will remove the uh, CB antenna too. So, you know, it's uh, it's mounted right here on that uh, rail. It's probably not the best location for it. Um, I'm thinking about getting like just a 10 foot whip and mounting it, mounting it off the frame going up. That'd be a lot, a lot better. So, but it's done. Um, thanks for stopping by, looking at the video, and uh, we'll uh, see you, see you the next time. So.